Corruption hits the construction of Radisson Blue Five Star Hotel in Bijilo, West Coast region, which is one of five key projects planned for the OIC summit. However, questions have arisen regarding the absolute failure of these initiatives and the use of funds. Firstly, there's uncertainty about the current status and location of the Radisson Blue Hotel. Additionally, only a portion of the planned OIC projects have been completed, though the specifics remain unclear. Jame hosted the AU Summit and was one of a kind. Here are my reasons after deep reflection. The difference between the 2006 AU Summit and the upcoming 2024 OIC Summit is notable. Nonetheless, details are needed to understand the substantial impact and implications of these gatherings. One of my concerns is about the financial aspect of the hotel project. Despite assurances from the government five years ago about its timely completion, OIC guests are reportedly being accommodated in Senegal raising questions about transparency and communication. Why will this happen after the massive funds given? The lack of updates from the government regarding these matters is troubling. President Barrow and his administration must be held accountable by the OIC chief executive for potential mismanagement of OIC funds, which some believe were used improperly. Corruption is the blueprint of Barrow's administration and that is why I can't understand the hopelessness in some of our youths who are claiming to credit Barrow in his generosity and development. I found this insulting to decency. There is disappointment that the promises made regarding the OIC summit have not been realized. The government appears unprepared to host many high-profile guests, lacking adequate facilities and even resorting to borrowing vehicles from other countries. No wonder most of the bigger figures decided not to come and sent in representatives as they rubbish the readiness and state of affairs on this summit in the Gambia. These issues raise serious concerns about the allocation and management of OIC funds, with allegations of misappropriation similar to those surrounding previous COVID-19 relief efforts. The public's trust has been eroded, as doubts persist regarding the integrity and ethics of the current administration.